Genie grind and watch him get a rich, huh? Remember when I said I hit a lick, huh? I don't really wanna fuck the bitch, what? Willie went and made another hit, okay? Like Prada on my motherfucking kid, huh? Louis on my motherfucking hip, huh? Curry how I dunk, no switch, hey, fuck it, gonna fuck that bitch, hey, if you ain't gonna fuck with me, you a dumb fuck, uh? Put up a hit above it, I one punch, uh? Look at my bank and I'm getting dumb rich, uh? And I'm gonna count it up till a hundred. Hello, world. Welcome back to What If Deku Was a Ranker. Last time we left off, our Deku had his arm sliced off by a horrifying, seemingly shape-shifting pterodon. Its massive wings diced through even mountains, as it seemed to grow from the smallest of sizes to even the mountain tops that it could rival. He found shelter and was some mysterious figure had led him down between the cracks of this cave to a large room full and brimming with artifacts of an old age and sat down barely drinking water from the goblet that sat in front of him he found himself sitting next to Bakugo who, who was also tired from the fights knocked out Bakugo barely even rolled his eyes when Deku showed kindness even in this situation he was lights out after that Deku however was barely able to hold on to his eyes as he starts to see a figure start to approach the throne there was a skull on it with the rest of the body sort of collapsing around it um, as it starts to actually reform itself into sort of a hum human uh, position of boredom he seems he feels like he's seeing things until he realizes that nothing's impossible in this world of quirks he opens his eyes barely able to move his whole body as the figure starts to actually speak out of the undead mouth of the skeleton. Why, hello. Don't, don't bother getting up. I know both of your bodies are broken. Is that one out? As he points towards Bakugo. Um, Deku can't even get himself to nod at this point. Uh, he simply just says yes with his eyes, basically. As, uh, he says, oh, wonderful. At least he won't freak out on me instantly. I can see people's personalities, you see? You just get a hint of what they can be like. Both of you exude immense pressure of wanting to live. You see, people aren't born with that. You're quite lucky, actually. I'm sorry, I'm so talkative after all these years. This this skeleton seems to have a sort of regal aura to him as all of the cups around him start jingling, you know, uh, with uh, different maids, all sort of ghosts start coming in and out of the room, sort of getting him new stuff. Um, this seems to sort of be like their normal schedule. Um, as he says, Oh, you must be dying to hear about my story, right? Although I'm wondering, though, why it took people so long to get to me. I know my competitors sealed me down here many years ago, but it shouldn't have taken that long for normal humans to find me. Tell me, how long has it been since 18? Eight? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what? 1,800, as you would say. It's been almost 220 years. 200? As his literal jaw seems to drop down onto his chest. Um, he recomposes himself, um, bringing back his, his body into puffing out his chest as he says, Um... Quite, as all of the maids seem to be uh, stunned by that fact, too. However, they all resume their duties. Uh, 
dusting around the house and different stuff. Um, he says, right, right, 200. Jeez, it really has been. This seems to take him by storm. Um, he says, I'm sorry. It was so rude of me to just enter conversation. My name is Caesar. I was the first quirked human being. Oh, what I, we thought I was. As Deku's barely even able to register this information, um, he says, right, I'm so sorry. I'll have you cleaned up. As long as you can uh, promise me something in return. You see, I've been looking for, what would you say, a new generation to carry on my will on this world. After my recent betrayal, or not as recent as I thought, but betrayal nonetheless, I have been looking for a way to infect the world with my ideals. Once more, please, take him, take him away, ladies. As uh, he swept away, not before giving a sort of nod to him that as long as he is taken care of, he'll do whatever he wants, basically. As uh, this sort of lich kind of feel to him, as the power that he exudes seems to shudder uh, Deku even, um, as they're both taken to different quarters. Uh, he's barely able to see... Uh, many of the relics that's hanging in the hallways as he's taken down. It seems to be a quite large uh, mansion that they seem to be in the underground. Each of the walls are coated with delicacies and different things from all around the world. Um, although many parts of it seem to be collapsed even. But he's soon taken to his room and he just <laughs> falls unconscious. He wakes up not much longer after that. He wakes up and he's in this beige room with plenty of, I mean, food and drinks. I mean, this is one of their best rooms out of the whole entire, you know, <laughs> mansion. Of course, it's going to be absolutely decked to the nines. Each part of it is just glorious. Uh... As all the maids start to swarm in the room, as uh, he sort of made a noise on accident, um, as they all bring in tea and different stuff uh, for him to drink. Although when he checks the tea, it seems to just be water, basically, with like bare like two tea leaves that were probably just taken off of like whatever plants they have left here. After all, they're all undead; they don't drink anything. He was going to ask about that until they just like basically rip him from the room and he's already dressed in this weird royal garb but it's slightly actually comfortable uh, surprisingly as he uh is zoomed down the hallway he gets a better look as he sees that yes actually half of the palace is seems to be collapsed all the rooms that seem to be have filled up seem to have been sort of the more important ones which is unfortunate however he is taken soon to the throne room where a more let's say, uh, cordial, you know, and presentable setting was played out in front of him as he sees all of these relics now hanging up on the walls every, every, every which way that he looks. And the roof that he had fallen in through and made his way to here through seemed to have been patched up by the maids and some sort of magic maybe used to help it all together, but that's impossible. Magic's not real. He sits down in front of this lich, basically, and says, Um, I'm so sorry. I was unable to, uh, introduce myself later, um, earlier. Uh, Deku has his head down as Caesar says, Please, eye to eye with me. I'd rather not make you uncomfortable. Really? You're the first guest we've had in almost 200 years, as you've told me. Oh, did they really make it that hard for me to talk to anyone else? Well, you see, why you lost your arm was to my guard dog. I'm sorry for that. Your guard dog? As he brings his head up, sort of 
looking towards him now, scanning, and sees that his bones are lined with this uh, sort of alloy. Each part of him is decked with this uh, this royal figure, uh, as he seems to just exude so much charisma out of just his eyes. Uh, it almost blinds Deku, but he seems to be very calm at the same time. Yes. You see, he's only a three-star, actually. A three-star, sir? You don't know... Oh, God. What has happened to this world? Well, actually, it might be good that you've never seen a, a starred beast. Oh, my, my, my. I must explain this to both of you. As Bakugo is then zoomed in the room by some of the maids, um, as he sort of, like, is trying to punch at them, but only punches their ghosts. And it's just like, let go of me! As then he's shoved in one of the seats, um, and they all whisk away, kind of mad at him, actually. Um, as then he's looking around restlessly until his eyes rest on, you know, <laughs> Caesar. Um, and he says, the hell do you want? And Caesar's just like, well, I have some news to you boys please listen well you have entered what i would like to call the fey wilds a long since dead a uh, part of the forest which houses the quirked beasts that were once known to the entire world from what i can gather from all of you from your awkwardness to the situation to your bewilderment about my mentioning of stars what i'm guessing is that they cut off my tomb from the rest of the world in doing so i think that they also trapped all the rest of the correct animals with me my power to create sort of these portals and different things that can house powerful beings like these artifacts that you see on the walls they're all using my quirk the protection spell for all what was y you said about stars sir sorry for not for interrupting as he says no 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 i was getting to that you see stars are what we use to rank beasts quirked ones out in the wild some of them didn't even have to be quirked to be starred. They would just have to be exude immense, powerful, immensely powerful energy. For you see, that being that you had fought was only a three-star. Yorm, we call him. He is my guard dog, one that I used to travel around the world. Why did he try to kill you? Oh, he's quite emotional, you see. He needs his time with his master. He ran away just a little while ago, not knowing where he was going. I sent him on a little bit of a mission to try to leave this place, see what the world was like. He ended up just hitting my barrier, which I didn't even know existed up until this point. And then he got lost. Silly little thing could never find his way by himself. Seems that you had the unfortunate... Uh luck to run into him as bakugo you know is blurting out obscenities of course immediately about that uh thing that had killed their friends um however deku is more stunned by the fact this system as he tries to get a grasp of what it means so what would you say star we are as he says oh you mean, if you're a ranker? A ranker? Oh my god, they still don't even have this in the main day. You see, humans can also be starred, just like the correct beasts. Uh, uh, see, you see, Dagu, there is a simple way of understanding what star you are. Simply put, a building. From what I recognize in your thoughts, a building in the rec in the normal day is about as strong as the building in my timeline. Maybe a house, two stories with quite good structure. Let's say you were to punch that house with all of your strength. What would happen to it? 
Would it split in half? Would it barely be affected, but cause a hole inside of it? Or would it be completely obliterated? You see, that is how we are going to measure. You see, when you say someone is as powerful as house powerful, means that they are able to completely obliterate a house. That is the power of a one star. Anyone below that who cannot destroy something as big as like a house is nothing. A hill, you could say. A pond, maybe. Yes, a pond. Just like your dear friend Bakugo. That little runt. He measured many of his attacks by that when he was younger. He called them lake-sized attacks, which he would soon call nukes in his own way. Those lake-sized were massive in their comparison but that was only what he was able to do with so much of his power used and physically breaking his own body sacrificing his mind you see that that is a one star both of you are one star well if you don't mind me asking what is a two star <laughs> two star you see a two star would be as if you were to pick up three houses and completely destroy them within a single second you see a two star is more than twice strong no thrice strong than a one star it increases exponentially Say, maybe a city, a small city, able to be wiped out. As long as they try their hardest, they can do it within their power. Now you see, it goes to something like a mountain and third st uh, uh, star. Just like Yorm out there. He's a three star. He's, as able, he's able to make himself as big as the mountains themselves and cleave one in half as long as he is trying his hardest. You see, I am the only person in this world to acquire a fourth star. Now you see, they created new uh, rankings in your timeline. Ones that considered smaller and less powerful people although this was the rankings of the wild deku a four star is able to manipulate whole continents with all of their power people feared my power so much they locked me away killed me within an inch of my life <laughs> killed me within ignore that uh, but you see, Deku, I lost all of my power back then, defending my livelihood and the people that followed me. You see, Deku, all that I want is to affect the world again, spread my word, become my successor become a ranker and you will have everything that you want to survive a dark aura glistens from his skull sort of going like shing as he hears rumbling in the background thunder almost a deadly proposition has been made Deku can feel the weight weighing on his shoulders and I think we'll stop it there thank you so much for watching uh, I did not realize that this was actually going for so long so I'm just gonna end it there see you guys next time goodbye <laughs>
Genie grinding, watch him get a rich, huh? Remember when I said I hit a lick, huh? I don't really wanna fuck the bitch, what? Willie went and made another hit, okay? Like Prada on my motherfucking kid, huh? Louis on my motherfucking hip, huh? Curry, how I dunk, no switch, hey, fuck it, gonna fuck that bitch, hey, if you ain't gon' fuck with me, you a dumb fuck, uh? Put up a hit, a buff, and I one punch, uh? Look at my bank, and I'm getting dumb rich, uh? And I'm on the count, and I'm telling 100.